Hey guys, we've got some exciting news for you. Filmora has just come out with a very important new version, the Filmora 8.5. Why is this update so important? Well, the 8.5 is considered as one of the biggest upgrade this year. It's got eight amazing and very practical new features. One, two more aspect ratio options. Once you update to the latest Filmora 8.5 and launch the program, you will find two new aspect ratio options in the drop-down menu, 9x16 format as well as 1x1 format. 9x16 is a vertical format used for editing videos shot by mobile phones, whereas 1x1 is a square format usually used for making Instagram videos. 2. Give your video a blurry background. When shooting videos with mobile phone, we usually hold the phones vertically. As a result, we get a 9x16 or vertical format video. You may notice there will be black bars on both sides of the video if you upload to video sharing sites like YouTube or Vimeo directly. Reason for this is because YouTube or other mainstream websites has a widescreen 16x9 player. To fix this issue, you can give your video a blurry background like this. In Filmora 8.5, you can easily add a background blur in a few clicks. Go to the Filters tab. There's Background Blur category, where you can find many background blur templates. Just drag and drop one you like to the filter track on the timeline below. The blurry background effect will be automatically applied to your video. Double click on the selected filter. You can further adjust its width, color, and scales level. 3. Pan and zoom effect for photo footages. This feature is specifically designed for image files. For example, if the image file has a different size from the aspect ratio you choose for your project, 9 by 16 in this case, we can utilize it to make the image fit in the background canvas so as to avoid any black bars. Just right click on the image, select photo placement from the drop down menu. The fit mode is what you see right on the preview window now. Crop to fit mode will crop out part of the image so that it fits into the background canvas without black bars. Click to preview and you will find the image is still without animations. With the pan and zoom feature, you can further add a pan and zoom effect to the image, which is very useful for those who use images a lot. What's more, go to File, Settings on the pop-up window, you can choose a default mode. For example, if we choose pan and zoom mode, all images you add to the timeline later on will be applied to the same effect. Four, Get creative with frame overlays. Go to overlays. There's a new frame overlays category added to the library, where you will find many frame overlay templates, which allows you to add some creative borders to your video. Double click on the overlay to further adjust its alpha. One most amazing effect is the Cinema 21 by nine. Drag it to the timeline below to apply, and you will find that your video is suddenly rendered into modern cinema widescreen format, which is often used in movies. Likewise, double click on it, you will be able to further adjust its border and alpha value. Please be aware though, frame overlays will get you the best result only if you choose to edit video projects using 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio. There will be some sort of distortion once it's used in other formats. 5. Unlimited control over video speed. For Filmora users, one most amazing news is that with Filmora 8.5, you can now have unlimited control over the video speed. You can type in any number down to the third decimal point to change the video speed. Or directly type in the duration time to change the speed. It's very convenient and easy to use. Six, camera shake effect. Camera shake effect is a long awaited feature. Filmora 8.5 allows you to fake camera shakes in many ways. Just go to filters, there's a newly added category called shake, where you will find eight most used shake effects. Drag it to the timeline to apply. 
7. Pip Opacity in Blending Mode Pip Opacity and Blending Mode is a very interesting new feature, which is more familiar to designers who use Photoshop a lot. It's actually very easy to use. You can drag a video footage to the timeline below, and then drag another video clip to the pip track. Now double click on the pip track to access the advanced editing panel. There's a newly added module called Compositing. From the drop down menu, you can choose from several different blending modes. Place the cursor here and slide it to get an overview on different results. Oftentimes, the particle footages or optical flares footages we download from online footage websites have a black background, which is impossible to remove or overlay. In this case, we can easily remove the black background with the screen blending mode. What's more, we can further adjust the opacity of the pip track. Use your imagination and you will get many unexpected gorgeous results. 8. Minor updates with the timeline. With Fulmora 8.5, now you can add up to 5 text tracks and 10 music tracks. What's more, you will find a scissor icon newly added along with a slide bar. This makes the editing process much more convenient. One other minor update is that you can now type in the time code to locate an exact frame. <laughs> All right. Those are the eight new features added in Filmora 8.5. Apart from all those, they've also fixed some other minor bugs. Personally, I think this new update is great. Lots of practical new features. It said, there'll be another major upgrade coming soon in Filmora 9.0. It's good to see Filmora is getting better and better. That's it. Thanks for watching.